Good morning, Kaza. Good morning. Going somewhere? Campaign trip to Guagualada and Kuali. I'm so not looking forward to the long drive, but the show must go on. On the flip side, it's going to afford me time to prepare. With all this goings on, my political ambition has taken a back seat. This has to change. Is something wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. I'm sure you will charm your constituents with your wiles. You look tired. I'm fine. Rhetoric is not my strong suit, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Did you get enough sleep? I did. Of course you did. Because, and I do not mean to be cynical, but... <laughs> Whenever you're not cynical, Matilda. Recently, you've been present? Present how? For example, I do not need to call you to know your whereabouts. You just show up. With everything that has happened, I thought I should be around more. That is quite the character improvement. You know what, Matilda? One would think that you're unhappy with me being present. Granted, I'm pleased, but I'm also pragmatic. You coming home early from work simply tells me that you're handing over the reins of the company into someone else's hands, perhaps in competent hands. I have competent people working for me. That's debatable. Thank goodness Adi is back. He stopped by yesterday. Adi. We've been over this, Kaza. And I will voice it again. You opening up the doors of Lufu to your brother by handing him an executive position wasn't the right call. Good or bad, it was the right decision. I was trying to handle the situation before it escalates. It wouldn't have. Not with this family, no. Scandal seems to creep up from untold and forgotten places. My decision was me getting ahead of potential unsavory headlines. We don't want our family drama becoming public now, do we? In the end, it's all about family, isn't it? And Adi is not a stranger. He is a Rishanti. Kaka, I'm going to school. Before I leave, is there anything you want me to do? No, no child. Everything is under control. Uh, you can go to school. Okay, Kaka. Um, from school, I'll go to Uncle King's office. We're going to see Oga Kaza concerning the tea. Hmm. I wish you all the best. That's great. Thank you, Kaka. Um, do you think I'm dressed appropriately for a business meeting? You are fine. Relax, Salita. After all, you have made a very good impression on Ogakaza. So, just be yourself. And King is going to be with you, isn't he? Yes, Uncle King will be there. <laughs> is something wrong, Kaka? Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know why you still call King uncle. Because it's respectful. <laughs> I wasn't born yesterday, Halita. I know exactly what is going on. Kaka. Hmm. I may be old, but I'm not blind. I know love when I see it. And, and it's not as if you are trying to hide it anyway, not from me. You are not angry. No, on the contrary, I approve. I like both of you together. You can always count on me if you need to talk. Thank you, Kaka. From your reactions, I presume no one else knows about this. No, Kaka. Then, you are secret is safe with me. Hmm? But I must tell you, love is like light that will shine and it cannot be hidden. True love shines brighter and sooner or later everybody will see it. Hmm? So you must be prepared when that happens. I'll be. Enough of our gossip pastime. Off to school now. Thank you. I'm really getting tired of the hotel food. Hopefully I'll be back soon. I'll get you a souvenir. No need for that. You're all the souvenir that I need. <laughs> Way to make your lady's heart melt, Mr. Zamani. Let me call you back. I need to attend to something. Okay, kisses. Sir, Miss Arishanti here to see you. Thank you, second. Hello, Kaza. That's it. <laughs> and liability. Is that true? <laughs> oh, four, oh, four. <laughs> liability supreme. Good, good. Um, very good. First of all, <clears throat> let me read out mine. Okay. okay. <laughs> <clears throat> the assets of Bikoko Esquire. CTO of Lufu Groups are as follow. My expensive set of Nigerian, Italian, and Spanish suits. <laughs> my vast collection of hand-woven customized shoes. <laughs> uh, my hair clipper. <laughs> Very important. Mm. My intelligent brain. And uh, my account balance that I will not reveal because of some evil forces that my uh, being uh, missed. Eh? <clears throat> now, my liabilities. Number one, unfortunate. Uh -uh. Two, my taste for expensive designers and expensive women. <laughs> um, that is all for now. <laughs> Your risk is even small. Because I did not add it to my liabilities, Abby. You that is always borrowing money from me without returning it back. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Take my own. Rukoko, this one that you face is looking like a bathroom three pass. Are you confused? Your spellings are giving me a headache. Ah, ah. You wrote that your father's house is your asset. Uh -huh. Are you the one that built the house? It doesn't matter. Okay. What can I do for you? I must say you've got quite some space here. You know, it's unfortunate that I can't uh, crack any jokes of inadequacies. You know, big office for a big man. Adi, what can I do? I heard you the first time. Although, the question should be what I can do for you, considering that I own Lufu. <laughs> wow. 
It's not even known yet, and you're sprouting rubbish like a drunken buffoon. You know, at this very point in time, Kaza, looking at you, I'm surprisingly sober. You, on the other hand, seem to be dealing with the aggression that comes from inauguration. Well, since you're sober, then you can take your tomfoolery elsewhere. As you can see, I have a lot of work to do and I'd like to get on with it. Which means get out of my office. <laughs> you know, you always had a sense of humor, Kaza. I think it's one of the things I miss most about you while being away for so long. I'm here to stay, Kaza. There's nothing you can do or undo that'll get me out. Again, nice office. I heard that the remodeling cost us a fortune. And by us, I mean Lufu. Your room upstairs. Because this is your father's house, Abby. 5K that lad is owing you. Yes. 2K that lad is owing you. 2K5 that lad is owing you. 560 for cream that lad is owing you. Yes. Oh, for? Why need you just add up everything once? Leave it like that. Let my list of assets be many. 3K that Beatrice is owing you. Yes. Uh, 4K that. On four? Hmm? When did I borrow money from you? Uh, see. Oh, uh, sorry, I, I, I just Good. remembered. Carry on. Uh -huh. uh, Beatrice's phone. Uh. Yes, now. Uh, didn't I borrow you money to buy that your Palasa phone? Since you did not give me the money back, I've decided to add the phone to my list of assets. On four, you are wrong. Thank you very well, Bukuku. Why are you thanking me? Your phone is mine because ah. I borrowed you money to buy it. Huh? I give him 1K5. How much did you give him? 2K. Uh, fine. We'll divide the assets. No problem is dividing. Shut up, all of you. Uh -uh. You people should carry your drama out of my kitchen. Uh -uh. Hey. Why is Ladi always like this? I don't mind. It's because she does not have any asset of money. Boro boro. <laughs> Come on, Bobby, you can do this. Just one step. Come on, I believe in you. One step and you'll be running in no time. Is something funny? Maybe you should dial down on your patronizing tone a little bit. Hmm. Not a toddler. Besides, it's making my limbs weaker than they already are. I see. Maybe I should switch tactics. Dish out of love. You should. Maybe it'll work. Look, we've been at this for a while now, with no results. Maybe I'm not meant to walk again. Maybe I'm meant to live with this pain. Maybe I'm being punished for my past. So many maybes. My life is just one big colossus of pain. Let's just call it a day. Call it a day? I just got here. Listen, Bobby. I'm not motivating you for the sake of it, okay? Though slow, you've made progress. You want to walk, and I'm here to help you. So put your pity party aside and take that step. You already, said... Bobby, I said take that step. Come on. Come on. Bobby.
Robbie, you can do this. Come on. Come on. Seen you smile before. It's a special occasion. I'm happy for you. Just one step and you're happy. Wonder what will happen when I'm walking around with a swag. Well, this is progress, okay? So let's try to take another step. Can you try? Good day, sir. Good day, son. How are you later? Please sit. I'm fine, thank you, sir. It's about the tea proposal. We're ready to move things along to the next stage. I have not gone through the proposal yet. What? Arita, please go wait for me in my office. If you will excuse me, sir, thank you for seeing me. Dad, what's going on? That bloody question again. Well, nothing, son. Everything is fine. But you promised to give us feedback on the proposal and today, and yet you haven't even gone through it. And I will. I have to clear a burning issue on my desk first. But you just said everything was okay. Well, obviously it's not. Dad, Halita worked hard for that proposal. King. I will look through the proposal. Now is not the right time. Ms. Josha requests that you wait for her in our office. Okay. She's just about rounding up a meeting. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.
怖いよ I'm really sorry about my father's behavior. You don't need to be. I could see that he was stressed. Yeah. He has a lot going on. Anything you can help him with? <laughs> I doubt that. My father has a knack for fighting his battles alone. And you? I don't need to. I have you now. How are you? I know how much this meant to you. I am fine, truly. Although it was tough picking the right outfit. Maybe next time I'll wear a power suit. <laughs> Good afternoon. I am... Dote, hi. Dosha. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. Not at all. Can I help you with something? I came to drop these. I've gone through the contracts of the new farm supervisors. Thank you. Will that be all? Yes. For now. Shall we? Yes, of course. After you. We have been through all this already. And the decision is unanimous. Yes. We want you to be the Abumu. We want your decision now. The more days this village go on without a ruler, unrest and confusion increases. Yes. Mm -hmm. but you are the right person for this high mantle. Yes. Don't fight it. Well, um, first, let me thank you all. I have pondered over this with my wife. Uh, this certainly is not something I want to take lightly. However, before I accept, um, I will need reassurances that uh, changes can be made to the laws of our land without any unnecessary drama from the Council of Elders. If they are reasonable and for the good of our people, why not? Yes. Fair enough then. I, um, I accept your offer to be the Agomo. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, wow. Congratulations. <laughs> My elders, I greet you all. Ah, that what you are here. How is uh, Rebecca? Yeah? She's fine, cool. Kudus. <laughs> yes, sir. What are you doing here? What I want is to become the Agomo. I have come to formally throw in my cap to declare that I want to become the Agomo of this village. <laughs> Kudus. Next on Halita, 